Good morning. This morning, I want to pose this thought to you. First, before I begin, uh, I want to ask you, I'm sure many of you have heard of the teachings about generational curses, and we've read about it in the Word of God, and how we're to renounce those generational curses on ourselves. But let me ask you this this morning, my friends. What about generational blessing? So you go, you may be thinking, well, I've never heard of that, or I may have heard briefly about it years ago. But let's go to the Word of God, and let's read from Jeremiah, the 11th chapter, and I'm going to read through 1 through the 5th verse. It says, The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, from the iron furnace, saving, Obey, obey my voice, and do them according to all which I command you, so shall ye be my people, and I will be your God. Praise God. That I may, okay, now listen to this verse. If you don't have your Bible, uh, if you don't have your Bible with you, you can just put me on pause, go back and get your Bible, and you can follow along with me. And sometimes that helps you understand it more. That I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers. Okay, this is generational. To give them a land flowing with milk and honey as it is this day. Then answered I and said, so be it, O Lord. Okay, did you catch that? He says, that I may perform the oath that which I have sworn unto your fathers to give, those are key words, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey as it is this day. Praise God. A generational blessing. Have you ever thought about that? We can receive the generational blessing. We can... Uh, you know, accept those generational blessings. Sometimes we don't feel worthy of things in our life. But see, that's just a tool of the enemy. He would have you to believe that you're not worthy of anything, that, you know, God can't use you. But my friends, I want to share with you this morning that you are blessed and highly favored. You are a child of the King. Praise God. Praise God. We can receive those generational blessings. But let me share this with you also. If you're a recipient of generational blessings, you are blessed to be a blessing to others. I mean, it may be someone out on the street. It may be someone that is homeless. It may be someone that needs maybe a, a utility bill paid for them, but they're afraid to say anything because of pride. But I want to share that with you this morning. Generational blessing. So in your prayer time, Ask the Lord to reveal to you about generational blessings. And if you want to know more about generational blessings, we'll get into it further. Just send me an email or post with this video uh, that you're interested in learning more about generational blessings. I know that we, you know, we study a lot on generational curses. Different ministries do. But I wanted to share that very briefly with you this morning because he says that I may perform the oath which I have promised or sworn unto your fathers. So, my friends, you can receive those blessings. Are you walking obedient to the Word of God? Are you living a holiness lifestyle? Um, have you had the blood of Jesus applied to your heart, to your life? Well, my friends, you're a candidate for generational blessings. Praise God. You know, many times, you know, when you, uh, they have these uh, surveys to see if you're, you're a good candidate to receive this or, or receive that. But, my friends, if you have had the blood of Jesus applied to your life, I feel the Lord in this. If you have given your heart to the Lord, you are the best candidate to receive the generational blessings. Some of us don't know how to receive the generational blessings, but, you know, when we're living and walking, when our walk lines up with our talk, we are that candidate for generational blessings. God wants to bless his children. Sometimes we don't know that. Sometimes we don't feel like that. But he blesses us in many areas, in many ways. There's many ways he can bless us. But one of the greatest forms of blessings is revelation of his word. 
and we give our life to him. Amen. I, you know, I want us to learn to dig deeper into his word, to uh, get revelation of his word, what he would have you to learn for his word. It's good to read this word right here. It's good to study this word. But the thing is, it's just reading until you apply it to your life. There has to be some action, and that's a verb. Action. You have to apply this word. You have to live this word. You have to talk this word. Walk this word. The fruit will be evident in your life so that others can see the generational blessings in your life. Until next time, my friends, you walk in love and keep your faith. I'm Deborah Baird with Vessels of Honor Worldwide. Bye for now.